What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. We have another Party Never Ends update video to bring you today and a community update. But before we do start, I do just want to give a shout out to all channel members. Thank you guys for supporting me and making these videos possible. If you're new here and want to check that out, just check the join button listed down below. But with all this being said, we're going to dive on into everything. I'm going to be covering all the new leaks that we've gotten, the song that's currently up for group buy, and I'm going to be starting with what Bibby basically posted and what he's going to be doing as of lately at least. Bibby goes on to confirm in an Instagram group chat that he's going to be staying off the internet for a while and he's going to go see a therapist and he also said that I won't be working on any Juice albums anytime soon. So I think we could look at this in one of two ways. One being the fact that we're just not going to be getting a Juice album this year or at least not for a while. That could definitely be what Bibby means because obviously Bibby has a say in what happens with Juice's music that is officially released. Now the other thing could possibly possibly just mean that Bibby isn't going to have any kind of say in an upcoming Juice album that we're going to get, but I kind of unfortunately feel like it's going to lean the other way and we're just not going to be getting a Juice album anytime soon, maybe not even be getting The Party Never Ends this year. Now, I definitely don't want anybody to go hate on Bibby or anything. I completely respect him wanting to go see a therapist and making sure that his mental health and everything is great. With that being said, I don't want anybody to go hate on Bibby for this decision or anything because every Everybody obviously has times like this, but it is just unfortunate for the fact that we might not be getting any officially released Juice music. I know a lot of the community probably isn't too upset with that just because there's been so many leaks. And even if there was no leaks or no music being released right now, there is so much Juice music out there released or unreleased that I feel like a majority of the community would at least be fine to the point where we have tons of music. It definitely wouldn't be as active as it has been lately and everything. It doesn't even look like we have to worry about that because since the last video I've made, we have gotten like five or six new leaks and almost all of them have been free. Just to start, in no particular order, we have gotten Betray My Trust leaked, Late Night Thoughts has leaked, Nuts Itch has leaked, Lone Ranger or Let Me Be has leaked, On a Plane with Gunna has leaked, and we already have a group buy going on right now for $10,000 for Cursed Hearts, another 2019 juice on I'm pretty sure and I think they already have another group by scheduled or ready to go up soon I think that there's a couple more juice world three era songs that we're going to be getting in a group by at least I think that's what googly said so with all this being said right now what it currently looks like is we're not getting any new juice music released officially at least that's what it sounds like from Bibby's post you can definitely take it a couple different ways but I think that's the safest way to play it is that it doesn't look like we're going to be getting anything released for a while which might might unfortunately mean we're not going to be partying this year and I don't even know what that means for the party never ends we obviously had v1 that had songs on it like go hard not enough and then that kind of got scrapped and turned into fighting demons and then the new party never ends that we have which has been really hinted towards having songs like off the rip GoPro or biscotti it sounds like we might not be getting this either now the last thing I want to cover in this video shout out to Travis for posting this but it's kind of an update just on what's going on with the whole group grade A situation and if you guys know BZ who was Juice's cousin he basically confirmed on his Instagram story yesterday and today I'm pretty sure he confirmed that he was actually the one that checked Juice into rehab before he passed away he also confirms that he was not paid for being in the Juice documentary and he said that he currently has no relationship with grade A and he thinks the Juice would have been better off independent and he also goes on to say that the conspiracies surrounding Juice's death are very hard for him to deal with which obviously they would be he was literally family with Juice, but kind of looking at what he said with having no relation with Grade A, wasn't it a thing a while ago, like a petition to get BZ some kind of say in future release Juice music? So it looks like BZ really doesn't have a say, even though I thought he was going to, at least from the petition that was going around, I thought BZ was going to start having a say in what happened with Juice music, but I'm guessing something fell through or there was just some cap with that or something. I'm not even sure, but with all this being said, guys, this is basically everything. There is a couple videos I still wanted to make on the Party Never Ends, like a snippet video covering all the possible songs on the Party Never Ends V2, but I don't even know if we should make that anymore. If you guys still want it, let me know and I'll do it, but with all this being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll keep you updated as we get more news, and we'll see you in the next one.